What if the greatest mystery in mathematics was still unsolved? What if one man, silent and unknown in his time, dared to challenge how we see space, time, and even infinity? And what if his question, one quiet line in an old paper, still terrifies the smartest minds on Earth? In a world obsessed with certainty, he whispered doubt, and the world has never recovered. This is not fiction. This is not a myth. This is the story of Bernhard Riemann. Bernhard Riemann was born in a small village called Breselenz in northern Germany. It was a quiet place, cold, modest, and far away from the grand cities of science. His family lived simply, with barely enough to get by. But behind that window, a boy watched the world and wondered. His father, a poor Lutheran pastor, took charge of his son's education. By candlelight, he taught Bernhard Latin, history, and mathematics. The boy didn't just learn, he absorbed everything. Even at age 10, his teachers said, this one is different. At just 14, Bernhard borrowed a famous book on number theory. It was so advanced, most university students couldn't even read it. But Riemann read the whole thing in just a few days and understood it. His teacher gave him the book and said he was no longer the student. But brilliance came at a price. Riemann was quiet, painfully shy, and often anxious in crowds. He found comfort not in people, but in patterns, symbols, and problems. Other kids played games. He played with infinity. Despite his silence, Bernhard stood out in school. He passed every test, solved every riddle, and often corrected his instructors. He became known as the boy who never spoke, but always knew. Yet deep down, he still felt like an outsider. In 1846, at age 19, Bernhard left home to study theology in Göttingen. His family hoped he'd become a pastor like his father. But as the train left Breselenz, he was already dreaming of something else. Not prayers, but problems. At Göttingen, Bernhard sat in on the lectures of the great Carl Friedrich Gauss. Gauss was a legend, the prince of mathematics. Riemann barely spoke, but Gauss saw something in his eyes. Something rare, something brilliant. Riemann shocked his family and teachers when he switched from theology to mathematics. It was a bold move for someone with no money, poor health and no social power but he chose the life of the mind, no matter the risk. And as he stepped into the world of pure thought, the storm inside him began to awaken. But Bernhard Riemann was just getting started. In 1849, Bernhard Riemann returned to Göttingen, not as a boy, but as a man with purpose. He walked the halls of the university again, but this time he wasn't following. He was ready to lead himself into the unknown, and the unknown would soon answer back. He buried himself in pure mathematics, tackling problems no one dared to touch. His dissertation aimed to redefine the very idea of complex numbers. He wasn't just solving equations, he was reshaping the rules behind them. And through sleepless nights, his mind unlocked a new kind of space, to explain strange mathematical behavior, Riemann created something radical, Riemann surfaces. These were twisted, layered sheets that helped visualize how complex functions behaved. They turned chaos into structure, and they let mathematicians walk across infinity like a map. For his next step, Riemann had to give a lecture unlike any other, a habilitation. It wasn't just a test. 
It was his moment to prove himself to the mathematical world. But he chose a dangerous topic, the foundations of geometry itself. He knew he might fail, but he went forward anyway. On June 10, 1854, Bernhard Riemann stood before the greatest minds of Göttingen. He didn't just review geometry, he challenged everything they believed. He proposed that space itself might be curved, bent, shaped by unseen forces. The room was stunned into silence. No one clapped, no one laughed, no one argued. They simply didn't know what to say. For the first time in 2,000 years, someone had questioned Euclid and made sense. Riemann walked out not knowing he had just changed the future. The next day, Gauss sent a private message of praise. He said Riemann's ideas were deep and possibly the path to truth. For a man known for his silence, this was thunder, and it gave Riemann the strength to continue. From that one lecture came an entirely new geometry, Riemannian geometry. A world where straight lines don't stay straight and space has secrets. Years later, Einstein would use this to explain gravity itself. And all of it began with a quiet man in a candlelit room. The world would never see space the same way again. Bernard Riemann never shouted for attention. He preferred silence. He spent hours, sometimes days, alone, lost in numbers. Not for fame, not for praise. But because the puzzle of the universe had whispered something only he could hear. He became obsessed with prime numbers, the building blocks of all mathematics. They looked random, but Riemann didn't believe in randomness. He searched for a hidden pattern, a secret rhythm beneath the chaos. And slowly, an idea began to form. In 1859, Riemann wrote a paper, just eight pages long. But those eight pages would haunt mathematics forever. He poured in everything, his logic, his dreams, his doubts. And at the heart of it, he planted one bold idea. To explore primes, he used something strange, the zeta function. It connected prime numbers to infinite series in complex space. It was like finding a new language, one that spoke across dimensions. And Riemann used it to ask a terrifying question. He proposed something now known as the Riemann hypothesis, that all the strange zero points of the zeta function fall into one perfect line. If true, it could explain the secret rhythm of all prime numbers. If false, the foundation of mathematics might crack. But at the time, no one paid much attention. The ideas were too strange, the language too abstract. Even brilliant minds couldn't see where it would lead. And so, the hypothesis sat in the shadows. Years later, mathematicians returned to Riemann's forgotten pages. And one by one, they saw the genius hidden inside. His hypothesis could explain the deepest truths of numbers, encryption, even the internet. He had spoken to the future before it was ready to listen. Today, the Riemann hypothesis remains unsolved. Supercomputers test it. Prizes wait for the one who cracks it. It holds the key to secrets from banking to quantum physics. But Riemann is gone and the puzzle still waits. And no one has solved it. Not even today. In the final years of his life, Bernhard Riemann grew weaker. He suffered from tuberculosis, a disease with no cure then. He left Germany for Italy, hoping the air might heal him. But time was slipping through his fingers like sand. In 1862, Riemann married Elise Koch. It was a quiet celebration, far from the academic world. He found brief joy in love, even as his body faded, but his mind never stopped moving. Even on his sickbed, Riemann kept writing. Strange equations, new symbols, ideas far ahead of his time. 
No explanations, no guide, just the raw brilliance of thought. He was speaking to a future he wouldn't see. On July 20th, 1866, Bernhard Riemann died at just 39 years old. There was no fanfare, no eulogy from kings, only silence and unfinished work. But death could not bury his mind. For years, Riemann's work lay forgotten. Then, decades later, Einstein discovered Riemann's geometry. It became the backbone of general relativity. Space, time, gravity, they all curved just as Riemann predicted. He had redefined the universe from a sickbed in Italy. Maria Mirzakhani studied the geometry of Riemann surfaces, the same strange curved spaces Riemann had imagined long ago. Her work helped us understand how these surfaces twist, stretch, and move over time. She uncovered deep patterns in the way Riemann surfaces behave, especially when they change shape. Her breakthroughs helped mathematicians and physicists alike, from string theory to chaos theory. And through her, Riemann's quiet question kept echoing forward, louder than ever. Today, Riemann's influence stretches across everything, physics, astronomy, computer science, cryptography. From black holes to blockchain, his fingerprints are everywhere. He was one of the few who truly shaped how we understand reality. In the year 2000, the world finally admitted it. Riemann had left behind one of the greatest puzzles in history. They put up a million dollar prize for anyone who could solve it. And after all this time, the answer still hides in silence. He didn't want fame. He left us a question, and we're still trying to answer it. If this story sparked your curiosity and you want to explore deeper, the people, the concepts, and the beauty behind the math, head over to our website, migoromedia.com. The link is on screen now and also available in the description below, so you can explore further at your own pace. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.